Stefan Marinov was the leader of the European free energy movement. In 1997, he made tremendous strides in the technology. Before he could develop his first prototype, he fell out of a window. Dr. John Mullen, a nuclear physicist, used to work for McDonnell Douglas, one of the largest military contractors in the world. He died of arsenic poisoning in 2004. His girlfriend was originally a suspect, but she was found dead in her apartment shortly after. There are no more suspects, there is no investigation, there will be no trial. Dmitry Petronov invented a plasma battery that powered his home for 14 months. In 2010, he went to a bakery and was never seen again. Zachary Warfield was another inventor who developed his own plasma battery. Warfield visited Petronov to exchange information. That same year, Warfield died in a strange boating accident in Washington, D.C. Eugene Malove was a physicist and expert in cold fusion. He claimed he had a working prototype of a free energy device. In 2004, the day before he was to make a public announcement about his findings, he was beaten to death. Ari Degos actually patented free energy technology based on the zero-point field. In 2007, he was about to get on a flight to meet investors who were going to fund his research. He was found dead in his car at the airport. Rory Johnson created a cold fusion laser-activated magnetic motor that generated over 500 horsepower. He planned a public demonstration of four vehicles equipped with this magnetron motor. The U.S. Department of Energy placed a restraining order on this technology preventing publication. And though in excellent health, he died unexpectedly soon after. Mark Tomian, a physicist, patented technology called a star drive which uses zero-point energy very similar to the ARV. In 2009, he developed a working prototype. Shortly after, he died from an unexpected cardiac event. His research is missing. Stan Myers developed a working engine that ran on water. In 1997, he died from what was officially reported as a cerebral hemorrhage. This happened while having lunch with two potential investors. His last words were, I was poisoned. 